an innovator, a workhorse, and overlooked. The first monoplane in the RAF was everything that Britain needed in the early stages of the Second World War. Yet unfortunately, the Hurricane was overlooked by its more sophisticated younger brother. I am Lozy, and welcome to Weapons of War, the Hurricane. As early as 1934, the British Air Ministry was looking for a new generation of fighter aircraft with eight guns. The initial entry from Hawker was an upscaled and upgunned Fury biplane, however this was quickly rejected by the government. After yet another attempt, the designer of the Hurricane, Sidney Cam, refined his design and decided that a monoplane with a powerful engine and retractable landing gear was essential. It just so happened that Rolls-Royce had just developed a new engine, the PV-12, or in layman's terms, the Merlin engine. After testing with this new engine, Cam sent the design to the Air Ministry and soon an interceptor monoplane prototype was swiftly ordered. Soon more tests and designs were conducted and by March 1936 the new prototypes had 10 flying hours and were soon transferred to RAF Martlesham Heath for combat testing. It wasn't long before favourable responses came flooding back and in June 1936 the first 600 Hurricanes were ordered. It had an extremely simple design compared to the Spitfire, adopting many of the techniques from the Fury and other canvas biplanes. Not only was this fantastic for building the aircraft, but also for repairing it, and it allowed many squadrons to repair even heavily damaged fighters on their base. Despite the order being set in 1936, it wasn't until December 1938 that 111 squadron got its first hurricane. However, by the outbreak of war in 1939, 18 British squadrons had been fully equipped with the new plane. Also, around the time of the outbreak of the war, the Hurricane started to lose its canvas wing, and soon had a replace with stressed skin metal, common to other fighters at the time. Interestingly, it was the Canadians who produced many of the Hurricane fighters, at the Canadian Car and Foundry in Ontario. These aircraft were shipped to Britain, were able to fight in the Battle of Britain. Overall, there was around 14,500 Hurricanes built during the war with various variants. These included ground attack forces such as Hurricane Mark IV that came armed with cannons and the Sea Hurricanes used by the fleet air run. Soon, the Hurricane would see active combat with mixed results. In the phony war, the Hurricane proved excellent at shooting down the larger targets. However, the pilots had not developed tactics to defend themselves from 109s that proved faster, yet not more maneuverable. However, during the Battle of France, the four Hurricane squadrons initially deployed in France had showed themselves. In one day, Hurricanes claimed they shot down 42 German fighters without using a single plane. By the end of the war in France, the Hurricanes had suffered heavy losses, yet were roughly downing two German aircraft for every lost Hurricane, or so was claimed. It was Operation Dynamo, or the evacuation from Dunkirk, that allowed the Hurricane to shine, with 27 British pilots becoming aces and it claimed 499 planes shot down on the German side. Despite this, the absolute crowning glory of the Hurricane was the Battle of Britain. Going up against the BF-109E and working alongside the Spitfire, the Hurricane was slower but could outturn both of the more modern aircraft. This led to the Hurricane being accountable for 55% of all enemy aircraft knocked out over British soil and in the Channel. And not only this, the only Victoria Cross won during the Battle of Britain went to Flight Lieutenant Eric Nicholson of the 249 Squadron when three of his Hurricanes were attacked and badly damaged by BF-110s. Engulfed in flames, he attempted to get out of his cockpit. However, upon seeing a 1010 had overshot him, he remained in an attempt to shoot it down. By September, the more powerful Mark IIA was being equipped to the squadrons with a supercharger and this helped increase the speed of the Hurricane from 315 to 342 miles an hour. Yet, the Hurricane wasn't perfect and it had issues particularly with survivability. An example would be that the fact there was little to no protection for the pilot from the fuel tank in the front of the plane. This meant that very easily jet of fire could shoot out at the pilot causing burns or worse. After the Battle of Britain, the Hurricane was used around the globe from the Dutch East Indies to North Africa and for a long time acted as a close air support aircraft with the Mark II B being able to carry bombs. This led to the Mark IV being designed with rockets and bombs in mind as well as 40 mm Hispano cannons. The His Hurricane was finally retired from service in 1944 after being replaced by the Typhoon, the RAF and the Firebrand in the fleet air run. Hurricanes still fly today 
and one can be seen with the Battle of Britain Memorial flag. Arguably, while Hurricanes may not be as pretty, fast, or technologically groundbreaking as the Spitfire, the Hurricane performed its well role well. It stood up to the Nazi threat when Britain needed fighters to defend herself at the beginning of the war.